Well, Norrie, first and foremost, that was a good win, wasn't it? Yeah, fantastic. And uh, I think it really sums up our competition and our form over the last few years. Um, this young group keeps coming on leaps and bounds. And uh, after last year's really successful competition where we felt like we won games from nowhere, I think we've really dominated throughout and it's great to see. Seven out of eight wins got you top spot in the group last year. Seven out of eight wins, unfortunately, gets you second. Is there a little bit of disappointment over that? Oh, I guess so. It'd have been nice to have an extra few days off, wouldn't it? But other than that, we're really proud of what we've done. And um, Leicester, to be fair, kind of run away with it at the top. But yeah, again, really pleased with our performances. And uh, I'm not sure we could have given much more. Now, what about you? Because we seem to have waited so long to see an Anaya in Donald innings, a typical Anaya in Donald and we got it today. Yeah, it was nice to get a few. I think Parky had one over on me somewhere in the middle there, but yeah, great to hit them nicely. And I owed the, owed the boys a few and um, pretty disappointed I didn't get them over the line. But yeah, great to be in the runs. Six sixes in there and a smattering of boundaries as well. Do you get to a point in your innings where you think, I can almost hit every ball over the road? Yeah, I'd, I'd say there's a little red devil on my shoulder sometimes. I've got to fight back. Um, but sometimes I feel the best way I play is when I'm, I'm natural and just reacting. And sometimes it can make me look pretty stupid. But on my day, I, I look all right. And uh, yeah, pleased to get the three three figures and, and get the boys uh, somewhere near a winning score. Did that sort of wicket suit your play? I'm not sure it was a typical sort of good wicket though, was it? No, I don't think it flew onto the bat. But credit to the groundsman here, they had a load of rain a few days ago and it played really well and I said it made for such a great 50 over game and with all the fans that we get over here on the island it's great to put on a bit of a show. I know you've been injured a little bit this year but has it been frustrating for you because it's, it's, this, is, this innings has come in August? Yeah it is, it's, it's, I've been in an hour and I've played a little role in the T20s but certainly it's been frustrating sitting there and um, we had a pretty wet start to the year and then I broke my finger and felt like I played a bit of a bit piece throughout the year so it was great to come in and as, as I said I owed 80 and, and the guys back there a few runs and it, it was nice to notch that off. I know you've had a lot of injuries as well, but uh, you know, with this year as well, has it been a really frustrating sort of few seasons for you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I think it all started with those couple of knee injuries, and I feel like I kind of been scrapping to get back to where I want to be. And um, as I hope to show, I think I think the ability's always been there. It's about filling in the gaps in between, and um, it was nice to again to get that big score that I was well overdue. I think. Yeah. Now, it looks very much, I don't think it's quite over yet, but it's going to be Worcester uh, on Sunday, your thoughts? Because that's you played in the quarter-final. I did, I made a sneaky Worcester. appearance, didn't I? <laughs> made a sneaky appearance, that's what broke my finger in warm-up, so I'll try and stay away from keeping from this game. Um, yeah, it's, it's great to see, um, you know, I think we're really great on our home patch, and I think that's been the important part um, throughout. And in any white ball and red ball cricket, once you play with the GS Bowl, we feel like we're, we're really a tough team to beat. And um, yeah, look, it's obviously nice to have one over Worcester the last game we came here, but uh, it's, it's another game and another format, so we need to reset and go again. Just finally, I know it's another game before the semi-final, you got the semi-finals last year, but do you feel this group of players, which is essentially the same, is stronger this time around? I think we're more experienced, certainly the youngsters, and um, don't forget we've got a couple of 17-year-olds thrown in the mix who've, who've played a bit part, and it, it's been a very different feel. We've had guys coming in and out from, from the 100 and with injury, and we've, we've rotated guys in and out, and it's just, it's just great to see such a strong squad, and I think that's what Hampshire's been about for, for years now, especially in white ball, and um, yeah, there's some, some great moments we've had in 50-year cricket over the years, and hopefully we can go one step further this year.